Hi everybody, it's Leanne the Lawyer again, and this time we're going to talk about prorating real estate taxes. We're going to take a step-by-step -step approach. So hang on, let's go for this ride together. It's a little bit scary because we're talking about taxes and we're talking about math, but really it's not that complicated. We just, we just have to use our critical thinking skills and get through these things. So let's see what the first step is. First, we have to have a situation. So in our scenario, we're going to pretend that Lowe's is selling its property located in Montague County, West Virginia, to Office Depot. And the date of our closing is going to be February 1st. And we are asked to prorate the real estate taxes for closing. You might be thinking, well, this isn't enough information. How am I supposed to figure this out? Well, we actually have enough information. We have where the property is located. We know who the seller is and we know when the date of the closing is. And you'll see just with that information, we can do an investigation and we can find out what it is that everybody's going to owe. So the first thing that we need to do, step one, we have to determine the yearly taxes. Now, what did Lowe's pay last year? We're in 2015. The taxes haven't been assessed yet. They won't be assessed until July 1st of this year. That's just the way West Virginia does it, okay? So we don't really know what the taxes are going to be. We have to kind of guess, okay? So if we look back at the 2014 tax year, we see that the half-year taxes were $44,249.84. That's a lot of tax. Well, you know, Lowe's has a lot of property. So we want to take that, we want to multiply that number by 2, and you can see that Lowe's yearly tax it's going to be $88,499.68. And this is actually a real snapshot that I took from the Montague County tax rec records that you can access online. Anybody has access to this. So now that we know what Lowe's yearly tax is going to be, now we can figure out how to prorate it. And prorate just simply means divide it. So our second step. Now we want to calculate the number of days that the seller, in our case Lowe's, is going to own the property prior to the sale. And we don't count that date of the closing. Our closing date is February 1st. On February 1st, technically this property is going to belong to the buyer. And in our case it was Office Depot. And I think later I have a typo and I say Home Depot, but a depot is a depot, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're not going to count that date of closing. So in the 2015 calendar year, because that's the way that West Virginia does its taxes from during the calendar year, January to December, well, really, Lowe's is only going to have it for the month of January. Well, we know there's 31 days in the month of January. So Lowe's is only going to actually own the property for 31 days in the calendar year. All the other days are going to belong to the buyer, who in our case is office or Home Depot. Next step, now we want to divide the number of days that Lowe's actually owns the property by 365. Those are the number of days in a year, right? This will give us the percentage of the year that Lowe's actually owns the property. So you can see I've done this calculation. 31 days divided by 365 days comes out to 0.085. Okay, doesn't seem complicated. That's the percentage of the year that Lowe's is actually going to own the property. Basically, it's 8.5%. Step four. Now we're going to multiply the yearly tax rate. Remember, that was that big number, that 88,000 number, by the percentage of the year that Lowe's actually owns the property. So this is going to give us the amount of tax that Lowe's is actually responsible for. It's going to be about 8.5%. So if you look at that math, it's $88,499.68 times 0.085, and that gives us $7,522.47. That is going to be the amount of tax that Lowe's is responsible for for the tax year. Step five, and this is actually the last step. Now we're actually going to subtract the amount Lowe's is responsible for from the yearly tax obligation. This is going to give you the amount that Office Depot will be responsible for at closing. So 
We'll take our yearly tax amount, $88,499.68. We subtract what Lowe's is responsible for paying, $7,522.47, and that reasonably leads us to this $80,977.21. That is what we're going to put on our HUD form. That is what Office Depot is going to be responsible for as far as taxes are concerned on this piece of property. So let's look at it in equation form because we basically did it in word form and I know word form and story form it a lot of people it reminds them of word problems like how fast you know I've got a train going to Chicago it's got 18 people on it it's going 75 miles an hour people get worried about word problems but if we just break it down to its simplest it all it is are these three bullet points you take the seller's days that they own it, divided by the year, number of years, number of days in a year, which is 365, that gives you the seller's percentage that they are responsible for for that year. Then you take the yearly tax, you multiply it by the seller's uh, percentage, and that gives you what the seller's tax is. Then you just take the yearly tax, you subtract the seller's tax, and that gives you the buyer's tax. So here's our example again and looking at it in its simplest equation form. So remember, closing was February 1st. So Lowe's only had the property for 31 days out of the year. So that's 31 divided by 365, which gave us 0.085%, which was Lowe's percentage. Then we took the yearly tax rate, which was 88,499 and 68 cents. We multiplied it times that percentage, which gives us the amount of tax that Lowe's is responsible for for those 31 days. That's $7,522.47. Then we take that yearly tax amount again and we're going to subtract what Lowe's is responsible for those 31 days at $7,522.47 and then that gives us, and here I put HD, I should have put OD instead of for Home Depot, it should have been Office Depot, but they owe $80,977.21. So there it is. That is it in its simplest form. So good luck. Happy prorating. Have a great day.